This violent rattling noise. There's not really, there's not really cared at all. Imagine spending a thousand pound on two Moser R9 and an R12 bases, and then having to put them in the bin. This is not what I expected. Only if you can help me. <laughs> let's start with a little bit of context of where we're at today i bought the moza r9 five days ago um from a retailer called curry's in the uk the item got delivered on saturday which is a week ago today i installed it i ran it about 70 percent tried it out on my previous video it was fine okay it was only after the video i turned it up to 100 percent on a different game in more force feedback i heard this violent rattling noise and i thought what is that noise hi bro Oh, it's coming from, it's definitely coming from there. Now I actually started to make a video on this and said that it was the shaft in my opinion i thought that's what was happening because i never had this issue with the r5 and i emailed moser directly uh on, on a support page and they said it is probably the quick release on the drive that is faulty now so i was like okay i'll get it returned back to the retailer and get another one i tried to contact the other retailer and you know there's going to be a bit of a wait for the new product or them to return it test it and then send me a new one so it's going to be like you know a few days or maybe a week or two before i get a replacement and as you guys know if you watch this channel more often than not i use it daily for content i use it daily for streaming um so it would be not ideal for me to lose my wheel for a couple of weeks so i decided to order another one but i ordered it from another retailer i ordered a different wheelbase and the moser r12 has the exact same issue so as you can see this is fitting this quick release right and how it actually works is on the wheel there is little divots in the shaft which these or bearing like things sit in once the wheel is in place and clicked in and it's supposed to be uh you know a tight fit both brand new both within a week old this is yesterday i bought the r12 yesterday and i was furious i don't know how this is a thing obviously somewhere they haven't quality controlled it they haven't i don't know what's gone on but this is a big issue for moza how many products have they sold recently with this batch being out of spec and if it's the same manufacturer for the entire world then all of the new products from Moser are going to have this issue and you're going to get your Moser and be like, oh shit, my stuff's rattling and you're going to replace your wheel. You're going to replace your quick release before you replace the unit. Having to put tape on a, on a 600 pound wheelbase to stop it from making a G29 noise, it is louder than a G29, I should add. It's fuckulous. Having to put tape on your 600 pound Moser setup is ridiculous. The either the holes for the quick release are too big or not shallow enough. Um, they may be too deep. I don't really know, but something's happening and it's not good. If I known this issue would was gonna be a thing, <laughs> I wouldn't have bought it. I'm actually gonna ring the overclockers right now and see what they say. Thank you for calling Overclockers UK. In order to direct your call as quickly as possible, please choose one of the following options. I want to see what they say to this issue. Um, Did you know the first way to do this is by I wonder what they'll say. I wonder if you can help me. Um, I've previous, I just recently bought a Moser R12. Unfortunately, it's faulty. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll get this one back then. We'll get it tested. We'll confirm the issue with it. Yeah. Take the tape off so we can definitely, you know I mean, so we don't accidentally leave the tape on think, oh, there's no issue here. Okay. Um, and we'll arrange for a replacement. Right. Let us know as soon as you can, you know, as soon as you get it, if, if there's any more issues, and we can get it back, like a refund, and we'll, we'll I'll pass it on to like the actual like marketing team or like the purchasing team who like, gets in touch with them. So, so um, in regards to the the wheel right now, so you mm -hmm. arrange a collection and then deliver at the same time, or and we'd arrange a collection. We'd have to get it back first, confirm the fault, and then we'd have to arrange arrange for a replacement to be sent out. Right. Okay. So this this is where the problem lies with me. Um, this is exactly why I just purchased the twelve. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're not able to send out replacements ahead of time. The only way I could do it is me physically coming down to you, like literally coming driving it down. 
I don't want to be without at all. Like, I shouldn't have to be either. I mean, even if you came down, we still need to, like, test the item anyway. Mm -hmm. we, we, like, I'm just not able to set it up to actually get a replacement sent out beforehand. Kind of a, it's not yeah. your fault. Like, I understand your policy and your procedures. Mm. But on my behalf, it's an absolute nightmare. And obviously, like, if I send it back to you guys, I'm going to be, like, lost for a... It's going to take you more than a week, you know what I mean, to sort to sort this and send me out a new one you know i don't want yeah i don't want to be waiting that long so i don't know uh what to do in this scenario i'm happy to drive to your head wherever the hell you are i'm happy to drive i don't really care i just don't want to be without this is the only thing i can't yeah, i mean i can ask if you can offer that sort of thing if you want yeah if you can yeah yeah, of course. Well, I'm fucking up though, because I'm just asking that. Alright, thank you. This is like one of the biggest problems when you return stuff. Like, when you're spending £600 on a product and then expect it to be left without. Like, especially if you like use it daily, and I don't think anyone should have to go without due to a massive manufacturer. Like, I bought it twice. Like, how's, how's this acceptable? Like, I don't know. I'm pretty mad. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. But if you are able to actually, like, drive down... Yeah, I can do that today, literally. Like, I don't really care. I, I would love to just be able to get it replaced ASAP. Yeah, well, what we can do then is we'd have to get it to us. Yeah. Quickly get it on a test. We'll test yeah. it. You know, like I said, if it's like one of them things that it's like easily, easily yeah. noticeable. Yeah, it is, Maybe yeah. It yeah, yeah, instantly. We should be able to, like, sort a replacement out. It might take, like, an hour or two. Okay, can I ask a question? Am I okay to video this? Am I okay to, like, just so, like, gives people an idea of, like, how good you are and, like, what you, like, you know, what you return stuff is? Am I allowed to do that? I don't know if I'm allowed to offer that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. If you just speak to them there and come back to me and let me know. And now off down to the head office at Overclockers to get the Moser R12 replaced. Now, this is not ideal, all right? Driving two hours, driving two hours to go and get the Moser replaced. It's a nightmare, all right? But I, I think it's necessary. Um, I don't want to go without the Moser and I certainly don't want a broken wheel, okay? And it's 600 pounds and I, yeah, I, I don't want to uh, go without, so let's go. So it's going to take me two hours to get there. We're taking the Leon um, because the ST is uh, broken again. Um, but yeah, two hour drive, got some Red Bull. <sighs> I'm really annoyed, but you know what guys, it isn't the end of the world and you know, shit happens, innit? So let's go <laughs> and get it replaced. It looks like we turn up at the overclock, it's headquarters. Let's go and return the motors at that boy. I wanna see what they say about it. It is gonna be quite interesting. This is not what I expected to do today. So obviously the biggest question is, I don't know if I'm allowed to film in here. I'm going to try and get them whilst they do the like uh, testing. That'll be quite interesting to see how they do test it in comparison to what we've already done, all right? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if um, we're allowed to film in there. So I'll go in, see what they say and go from there. Since when did overclockers do car events? So the good news is, I think we're able to record the return process of our Moser R12 and see what kind of process they go through to uh, test the product and see if it is faulty. Um, it's going to be a bit of a weird one because they may use different wheels, but I'm guaranteeing it still does the same thing whether we're on their wheels or my wheel. I think it's going to be the same outcome and hopefully we're going to get a replacement today. And then we're going to test the replacement to make sure it's not across all batches. We'll kind of squash that today. The theory of is it across the entire batch of new from overclockers? And if it is, then there's going to be a problem. But if it isn't, then it's great news. So this is how they actually test the wheel and you hear this actual noise which is coming from looks to be the color of the wheel it's interesting which version of the this wheel is it you know so it's a v2 as well so it's not an older product do you have any older wheels that you can test or a different wheel you can test 
Idea, Try that one. Okay. It's just obviously, if for instance, somebody else has this issue, then to know whether it's their wheel or whether it's, you know, or if it's just that one wheel that does it, the V2s or. Yeah, same thing. So again, it's just coming from the shaft to the cup. It's pretty weird. So this is an R9 V2, right? And yeah. this obviously has a different shaft with a different like coupling at the front. And this is how it kind of should be. It should be absolutely silent. There should be no noise whatsoever. As you can hear, look, that's aggressive as well. That's nine newton meters of force and no one's holding this side of the wheel and there's no noise at all. And this is why the design is so good, but at the same time, it's, it's got obviously got problems. So this is the R9 and this is the new V2. I don't know what batch number it is, but I don't know if you can see. Um, so it looks like the general bearings are like traveling outside of its cup. Like these aren't deep enough or the too shallow or the too, I don't really know. And then this one, it doesn't look as bad. It doesn't look like it's happening, but it does kind of a little bit, but I reckon that's just happening when the wheel is sliding on off. So is that the same case? With that one, I don't know. But it, this one does not make a noise, have you just heard? But this one does. And they slightly change the design as well on this. This is obviously a different shaft all together. I don't know why they managed to make it smaller and then change the design. You can't really take this one apart. This one's got two big screws. This one has three and it's like kind of snapped off that one. Don't know why that is a problem. Um, obviously this is, I think it's a better design Obviously, it's probably cost more to do, I would assume, but yeah, it's kind of a bit of a, I don't really understand why there's a difference. It does look a different size though. It does slightly look like a, a more, it just, just looks different. Okay, so everything is set up on the second test bench of the R12 and hopefully it uh, doesn't cause any issues. No rattling is what we need. I was down with it in. I was about to go race. <laughs> Do some sense. My test rig. Please don't rattle. He's dialing it in. Silent. Okay. So that one doesn't do it. So this newer batch of wheels, this one, I would like to see the same batch of the wheel to see if it actually does it. The same batch number as this one to test whether it is just this one batch. So that one's silent. Try the other vibration, the like more vigorous, like jolty. Oh, oh fucking shaking. desk was shaking, yeah. Can't hear anything around you. <laughs> like, you would not mount this to a desk. Like, put, it, put it that way. That feels all right to me. But, I, there's no noise there is there so the outcome was that uh, overclockers do have another batch number okay we kind of have the conclusion it is possible that the older batch number that we had from 2023 is possibly a defect hopefully you guys have no issues like i did i did this for you guys so you didn't have to so this is the next day we've come back from overclockers installed our third Moser base of this week now i'm trying to summarize this video with how i feel about Moser. um the retailer curries i would avoid at all cost overclockers absolutely fantastic customer service absolutely thrilled with the way they handled it the marketing manager and the returns manager was absolutely fantastic and how they showed showcased how they deal with the returns um obviously i highly recommend checking out overclockers but moses product is a bit hit and miss 
So four bases is what I've owned, okay? Two of those have been broken. So it's 50-50 whether or not you guys will buy a Moza product and it may be broken. My community, which, you know, guys, I do a set of course of content. We have a big community over on Discord. Now, a lot of people have bought Moza since I've had it and they've not had any problems. So you got to look at that as well. But then I also Googled the issue. And the problem is with Googling, you know, Moza R9 rattling, it could be a various amount of things. It could be a faulty wheel. It could be a faulty quick release. It could be anything at all, okay? It could be loose bolts on the front fascia of the wheel. And it's very hard to know which of the faults on the internet are the same as what we've had. I think in my case, I've just been extremely unlucky. When we went to overclockers, I was obviously hoping that they'd have the same batch number in the stock so we could then get the same date and see if they had the same issue. But if it was such a big issue, then I, I would assume the retailers would have had a bigger fallback from it. Maybe more complaints in regards to the, the rattling. I don't know. But it doesn't make any sense. This is the this is the weird thing. It doesn't really add up because the R12 that we got was from December and the R9 that we got was from May. And they're both broke. So there's still four months there where they've not changed anything and it's still the same today seven months later eight months later they're still using the same shaft so it can't be a, a massive issue yeah i bought four moza products and two of them have been faulty with the same shaft so it's like am i just extremely unlucky and in this case we've just fell short i don't really know and i don't know how to recommend it um still a great product right, now we've installed the r12 and we've tested it and it's fine all good we tested the r12 my old r12 to know it wasn't the wheel with four different wheels the gs the rs the cs and the ks and the other one which is this one i don't know which one this is but that's five wheels in total actually because we tried the most well five wheel and they all rattled okay so it would definitely wasn't any wheel manufacturing defect or just a faulty wheel it was just the base okay and i, I assume the same thing is with the moser r9 base where do we go from this how many of you guys have had this issue let me know down in the comments below how you've had the moser experience like mine's been on the poorer side from moser okay not from the retailer the retailers have been fantastic other than curries okay i didn't even get an apology from moza the way they've said it they're like right well yeah that looks like the quick release shaft is faulty send it back there's no there's no apologies there's no i've just spent a thousand pound they just don't care that, that is kind of crazy to me um it's a shame i'll be honest the way they've treated it they've not really get they've not really cared at all if you're buying the moza product you should definitely be considering should I buy it or not? I don't want to say like, yeah, buy a Moza and it's fantastic. It wasn't fantastic, but the, the product is fantastic when it works. The customer service is, is questionable. They'll probably get the job done, but they're not very satisfying, okay? Just, I'll let you guys decide how you feel about this video. Drop down the comments down below. The, I don't know what else to say, guys. I am flabbergasted.